Hello Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News. This is the 18th of October edition. It is. We're going to be talking about new release beauty products and updates of things that we've talked about in the past. Before we get into it, we've got a sponsor. This week's episode is sponsored by Function of Beauty. We all have different hair needs, so why should we be boxed in by the same old standardized formula when you can customize it for your specific needs? Function of Beauty has unrivaled customization. They individually formulate every bottle based on your hair type, hair goals, and preferences. You select your color and fragrance or can opt for dye-free and fragrance-free. They'll even print your name on the bottle. Function of Beauty uses safe natural ingredients. They never use sulfates, parabens, phthalates, mineral oils, or any other harmful ingredients and are vegan and cruelty-free. We ordered our bottles using the survey. It's really quick and easy to use. It allows you to really customize your shampoo and conditioner. So after ordering our bottles, we received them pretty promptly and I got a nourishing set. Oh my gosh, smells amazing. But the good thing about it, nourishes my hair without weighing it down too much. And I really love the additional pack you can order with the shampoo that's, and conditioner. That's with the great. little travel squeezy tubes that you can clean out and reuse. They are so handy. Surprisingly, probably like hidden the winner. gem. Yeah. Hidden gem. Yeah. They also do hair masks now too. Function of Beauty have been really kind to offer 20% off your first order. To redeem, head to functionofbeauty.com forward slash beauty and take the hair profile quiz. They also ship internationally. Link in description box. Thanks, Function of Beauty. All right, so let's dig into some updates. The first one is Barry M. So last week we talked about uh, the wildlife palettes and now we've seen what's inside them. So essentially we've got two nine pan palettes. One is cool toned with pops of blue. One is warm toned with a pop of orange and green. So one is the tiger palette, that's the warm toned one, and the snow leopard is the cool toned one. So like we said last week, at least 20% of the net profits from the sale of all of the Barry and Wildlife products will be donated to the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation. Yep. Both palettes are available now exclusive, bleh, exclusively at Superdrug for £7.99 each. Yeah, and they're limited edition. Yes. All right, update from last week as well. We saw um, Ciate Jessica Rabbit new additions to the range and we had seen an epilepsy-inducing video oh, that and that's was... all we knew at the time. Um, even even with it slowed down, it, it was bad. gave me a headache. I couldn't even I couldn't put the whole thing on the video. I only yeah. showed a portion of it because it was horrible. Um, but we have since seen what it is. So these are two new additions to the Ciate Holiday range. So we do have a multi glow face and body highlighter. This contains a highlighter and a puff, and it's thirty two pounds. Um, it's available now on the Ciate website. All of these things are. And um, this does have multiple colours in it. They do also say that um, I did give an update on the uh, in the last video, but uh, they do also say that if you swirl your brush in it or your puff, it shouldn't or it doesn't take away the design. So the design must go all the way through. There's also a compact mirror, uh, 15 pounds. I did hear that in the comments someone said that that went up. Hang on. Oh, really? Yeah. Whoa. So last week when we I took the screenshot, it was 15 pounds. Now it's 22 pounds. Nah. So they've done some cheeky Sods. business, which I'm not happy about. How much about. is the highlighter? Um, oh, good question. Same yeah, price. 32. Same price. Um, along with that, I'm going to tell you what Ciate have released from their holiday range mm. because it's new, but it's this is this this is their Jessica Rabbit stuff for their holiday range. So we may as well talk about the rest of the holiday range. They've also got a mini Manny month. So this is the 2019 um, advent calendar. It's 50 pounds. So it contains 22 long wearing ultra shine and richly pigmented mini paint pots, um, as well as a one full size polish and a special limited edition nail glitter file mm -hmm. so uh, it is a 24 month advent calendar six shades are mystery shades mm. they do reveal the other shades yeah. so you have an idea of if you would like what's in it but they do keep it a bit of a secret by not revealing six shades which is That's, probably a good move yeah not too bad not too bad at least it's a nice it balance. something a little bit of a surprise yeah and if you don't want to know it all you don't have to look at all that's right um, yeah but it does keep a bit of a surprise there's also a confetti highlighter for 25 pounds that's cute so um this reminds me a lot of um 
meteorites. Yeah, from meteorites Gerlang. from Gerlang. Yeah. It's a similar kind of thing where it's different colours that are pressed in. Yeah. Um, and it's all, it's like a golden sun kiss glow colour. So they're Pretty. all available now. From Dominique Cosmetics, we have seen their holiday collection. So this is the Sweater Weather Holiday Set. So there's a six pan palette, all matte shades. Um, and there is also two little lip glosses in there. Or sorry, I'm wrong. A nude lip gloss and a creamy matte liquid lip. Yeah. So these are available now at Dominique Cosmetics and it retails for $29. US dollars. Which is not a bad little pack if you like the colours. Yeah. Um, it, it's probably a good sampling of some of, it, some of her products as well. Um, I kind of like this sweater weather theme, mm. but I, I don't think it sort of the colours suit the season. No. It's very spring The pink and the purple are, and even the orange, I would expect them to be deeper. Yes, Basically. I agree. I would have, yeah, I think yeah. they. I would love to see someone run with this sweater idea and make you know in those really gaudy Christmas sweaters yeah. and turn that into like a cool yeah. theme. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. All right, so on the weekend, I think it was um, the third part of the Jeffrey Star Shane Dawson documentary came out and so we got a lot more information about the palettes that they're releasing together so we found out there's going to be two palettes there's going to be the conspiracy 18 pan palette and also the mini controversy which is a nine pan palette now um we also did see uh sometime this week jeffrey star showed um the sort of prototype of the mirror that's mm. going to be coming out um and we sort of we saw a lot about the eyeshadow yeah, palette. Yeah. So we first saw the design of the packaging or at least the what they were talking about, what they sort of want. So it's not going to be a triangle. I think um, Shane Dawson was spot on saying it's really awkward to hold. Mm. It is. So he wants like an old school sort of TV with the sort of black and white spiral on it, which yeah. I think could be really cool. And you turn one of the dials yeah, and that and opens. opens the palette. That would be cool That's if they so can actually cool. achieve that. Yeah. Um, then we saw uh, the designs that will be on the pan. So it's got a combination of Jeffrey Star, Shane Dawson, and then some sort of images that represent the colours. Mm. Um, and then, of course, we saw the lab samples of a lot of the colours. So I'm not going to run through everything. Um, there's a, you know, pretty much what he did was pick... Uh, things that mean something to him and then pick shades that match the name. Yeah. And I think that I can totally understand why he would do that because um, he's coming from a background, again, like we said last yeah. week, not a makeup background where you don't look at the colours first and then sort of name the colours appropriately. He's doing the opposite. And I yeah. think a lot of his fans will appreciate it, especially people who don't like makeup but really like Shane Dawson and get all the references. But I think as a cohesive palette, this was it was hard to watch them sort of piece it together. I was like, yeah. oh, so many blues that look the same. Yeah, there uh, were a lot of blues. Yeah, there were some cool colours like Flaming Hot, that red is beautiful. Um, we do have sort of an image of sort of not the final layout, but what they sort of settled on in that episode. Mm. Um, and I think a few people are digging this. A few people don't get it. They think it's jumbled. I actually think, okay, maybe besides the bottom row, mm. um, I actually think it's a, probably one of the better Jeffree Star palettes yeah, I've seen. Yeah, I agree. Um, I Look, people think everything's jumbled all the time. Yeah. There's always someone who thinks it's jumbled while other people get it. I, I'm i kind of with you on this. Like the bottom row is probably not like, you know, I'm not screaming about it. But the first two, I don't mind. Yeah, I think the, the deep burgundies and the reds and yeah. stuff are oh, really cool colours. Um, and I think also, like, when Jeffree Star first released um, the Beauty Killer palette, there were some sort of brights and neutral shades. Yeah. And, and then his second palette, whatever it was called, that had some more muted shades as well. But ever since then, he hasn't really done sort of wearable colours. Mm. And I know that a lot of people love Jeffree for that. But I know that people like me don't want to buy one of his palettes because I don't use all blue eyeshadow. Yeah. So which something like this, I think, will please a lot of people, yeah. which is what I like. Um, but I still think that when they did some things like the ranch shade that was like a yeah. really iridescent white, and I'm like, oh, take leave that back in the 80s. Yeah. Like that. We don't need it. We don't need it. So, yeah. um, and one thing I didn't really, like, one thing I didn't really understand as well was when they were talking about the, 
nine pan mini con controversy palette. They chucked a lot of the shades that didn't really fit with the color story in the big one, which makes complete sense, but it became really blue heavy. I um, agree. I think that's probably the one that I'm concerned about. And yeah. I hope that they went, now we can do better than this. Yeah. And because this does look like a leftover palette. It does that. And that's the problem. You don't want it to look like leftovers. Yeah. You want it to be cohesive in itself, but it's just like, yeah. what are we doing with this? I don't yeah, know. That, that's don't the one know. where I was like, because when they had so many blues on the table, I'm like, you don't need that many of the same nah, blues. You don't. And then they chucked them aside and I'm like, good move. And then yeah. they put them all in the little palette. And I'm like, no. ah, <laughs> what are you doing? So, um, yeah, I feel like it's a, it, I think it's going to be a lot better than they're sort of, I think they're holding a lot back so yeah. far, um, which is, you know, makes sense. They're trying to build the intrigue. Yeah. Um, and they did say that these were like half approved shades. But that was half approved because they liked the swatches, but yeah. they needed to apply it on the eye Try with them the out. brush. I so, really want to see Just a Theory, Diet Root Beer, Controversy, along with Flaming Hot. Yeah. And then all the reds. Yeah, pretty much. She just wants all the reds. Reds and a nude. Yep. <laughs> that's all I want. That, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> that's all I want in my life. Yeah, we literally came back from um, doing some Christmas holiday shopping uh, today yeah. and we were didn't buy any holiday releases, no. but we left with all the new Huda nude palettes because we're like, browns are so beautiful these <laughs> I days. Like brown. I like brown. I've got so much colour, I just want brown. And you know, so. I've got so much red, now I need some brown. To balance it out. Exactly. So, so I don't mind where this is going. Yeah, but I, think it I don't mind either. I would like, like some tweaking for I'm, sure. I'm interested in this. Yeah. I'm, and that pig mirror, Cute. that will be mine. That will be mine. Be we'll keep you updated on the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collab as we know more. All right. Uh, Morphe. For some reason, they've mm. released round two with James Charles, but it's not it's, a new palette. It's a mini version of the palette and a new brush set. Yeah. So um, should have been a mini palette in the first place. The end. I agree. I 100% agree. All Morphe palettes should be mini palettes. Yeah, because if you're going to fit that many shades in, exactly. just give people less of each shade. Here's and then 60,000 small eyeshadows. Yeah, I Perfect. agree. So this is £28. Uh, I'm not sure what it would have been like US dollars or Australian dollars, um, but it's pretty much exactly the same thing, just in a smaller size. Mm. Um, I do think we can probably rummage up a comparison photo and have on the screen. Yeah. Um, but there's that. And then there's the uh, eyebrow set which is 59 pounds um and it contains 13 brushes Very tailored good. to shadows so a shadow brush set actually looks like a decent little brush set yeah it's not bad i just i've i've sort of given up on morphe eyeshadows and uh, that, sorry the brushes i've given up on a lot of things from morphe yeah, that's fine that's fair that's fair all right pat mcgrath holiday we've seen more yeah we thought we this was done and dusted last mm. week when we talked about the chroma Lux highlight cream things yes. but, it's, but we, it's not we did know there was another quad we just had no idea what the hell it was so we've seen it well we had actually seen oh, we've seen we've, it we saw a photo from a blog yeah but we had that on instagram and pat mcgrath asked us to take it down so we ah. took it down um and then we didn't report on it because she took asked us to take it down so yep. we knew there was a third one coming mm. we just didn't know when it was when, coming yeah. how it was coming um uh, but it has it has come. It has come. So they're the Blitz Astral Quad Eyeshadow Palettes. We can see them all there. They're pretty. Yeah, they're I think the Astral Rose Orchid is the new one, new one. that yep. we haven't seen yet. And along with that, they have added um, some uh, lipsticks to mm -hmm. match the palette. So the lipsticks that we've seen paired with these in new packaging, and the packaging sort of suits the palette, they're all existing shades, I believe, that we've seen. Yep. So uh, the new two that go with the sort of pinkier palette are Deep Orchid and 1995. Mm. Um, but what else is interesting is that they have also launched lipstick duos. So we didn't see this prior. These are 70 US dollars each and there's three duos. So um, the Ritualistic Rose duo contains Beautiful Stranger and Fembot. Then there's Iconic Illumination, which is Vendetta and Fever Dream. They sound familiar. Yeah. And then the Nocturnal Nirvana is Elson and Flesh 3. They're definitely... They're existing. Because I think I have them. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So those are $70. The individual lipsticks that are repackaged are $40 each US. Um, and that is the complete 
holiday collection. Yes. Three quads, three duos, six lipsticks. Plus the cream, cream, the cream highlighters. highlighters. Yeah. Yes. So it's all out now. Yeah. You can get it. If you want it. Enjoy. Go do your thing with the money spending. All right, new stuff. So um, we're starting to see that brands are bringing out holiday releases and then backtracking and bringing out Halloween releases. I'm just going to leave because I'm sick of this shit. That's fair. So uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills have revealed their Halloween glitter collection. So this launches exclusively on the US and UK Anastasia Beverly Hills websites. They won't be coming to other retailers. Um, and they're launching on the 15th. Um, so you can the full kit is only available on the US website for $40. Uh, that contains the five glitters. Or you can buy them individually for $15 or £15 each. It's a lot for a glitter, isn't it? That face says it all, Hayley. <laughs> That's fucked. It's a lot. 15 US dollars or £15. It's a lot. It's a lot. No. Anyway, you get 5.4 no. grams of product. So the shades are all new and they've got custom orange caps. Totally worth the 15 nice. US dollars or pounds. Limited edition. <laughs> Limited special. edition. Orange. Um, so the first shade is Salem, which is a neon green with multi-dimensional sparkle. There's Ghastly, which is a bright lime green yellow with multi-dimensional sparkle. Pumpkin, which is a true orange with a green gold shift. Potion is a midnight blue violet with large rainbow sparkle. And Phantom is a bright purple with red fuchsia effect. So they do sound pretty. Yeah. Um, but there we go. There we go. And there sorry go. if you don't like spiders, but there's going to be videos with a spider yeah, on I didn't, the screen. I didn't like that very much. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Hayley. Thanks. <laughs> um, we've also seen some packs. Packs. So I'm assuming these are holiday yep. packs. Addition to the holiday range. Yeah. So we have three brow packs. There's the Melt Proof Brow Kit. Comes in five shades. It's 30 US dollars. It contains a full size dip brow pomade and dip brow gel plus the brush number 12. Then there's the best brows ever kit also in five shades, 30 US dollars. Contains a travel size dip brow, a full size brow whiz and a travel size clear brow gel. And then there's the ombre brow kit in five shades again, 30 US dollars. Contains a full size brow powder duo, a brush 7B and a clear brow gel. Can I say though, mm. good value packs. Yeah, um, and they're all. I've tried all those brow products except for I the want dip this brow. So um, bad. The dip brow gel. I've I tried. Want, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Best I haven't tried that. Kit. Yeah, oh. I haven't. And they've got got a mini in the yeah. other one as well. But I've tried all I'm the other it. brow products from Anastasia Beverly Hills. All of them are solid. Yeah, you got to just figure out what really suits like best for you. Um, but these would be something that if you're either. <laughs> Running out of brow products mm. or you want to try. It's some, a good deal. Yeah, they're good. I would I agree. recommend. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Bare Minerals Holiday. So we talked about this in our Mecca holiday release video. Mm -hmm. And we only had the information of like a few things. We were only talking about what was releasing at Mecca this year. That we could see. Yes. Which, look. Might not be all of it. I, it which is definitely not all of it. Yeah. Because we've had confirmation from um, bloggers that have been to um, showcases mm. and also staff members saying that more is coming. Yeah. But for some reason, they could only release the information that we shared yes um, which was very frustrating I to know. film we like to know it all we know it all mm, we mm, are mm. um so i jumped on the bare minerals website and i just got all of the releases so yep. we can tell you guys what's going to be available or what is actually available right now from you the bare minerals website all of this now so there is the live love lips gen nude lip vault it contains 20 full size lip wow. products they do this every year though don't they they do and i'm shocked every year and the value is great 132 us dollars with yep. almost 400 dollar value yeah, it's massive. Pretty good. Uh, there is an advent calendar. It is a 24 days of clean beauty advent calendar. I'm just going to take a stab in the dark. I reckon it's got 24 doors. Oh, I think that's a fair assumption. <laughs> there are some customizable sets this year, which is interesting. They're called Give Your Favorites, and they have them. Uh, uh, there's a skincare one, a makeup one, and a brush one. 
We have the Give Good Skin, which is a mini skin longevity trio. They've got the original foundation deluxe collector's edition. So it's their, you know, cult powder foundation, but it's in limited edition packaging. And they have the mineral veil finishing powder in the collector's edition as well. There is a fabulous four, which is a four piece full size makeup set. There's brushes to love, which is a three piece brush set. We also have love to mask. This comes in two versions. We've got be bright and be firm claymates and be pure and be dewy claymates. So dry skin, oily skin. There's a Little Gems mini metallic mask set, a Little Lip, which is a six piece mini Gen Nude matte and shine lip set. There's the Bounce and Blur eyeshadow palette in Horizon. We've got more lip, cheek, eye packs. I'm not gonna run through them all. Except I wanna run through the Lip Service Bear Pro Longwear Lipstick Duo. This is, these are such good deals, these packs. They're I was having value. a look at them. So this particular duo and some other like lip duos, in Australia, these lipsticks retail for $34, I think. Something like that, yeah. And the pack, I think, is like $23. Yeah. Bare Minerals like, always do yeah, good value yeah. packs. They do really good value packs. Yeah. And um, one of the lip colours that um, is in this, I'm actually wearing today because I had a little mini sample of it. Yeah. I love it. I'm going to buy this and replace it because... You're literally getting two for less than one, which is ridiculous. So it's if you a good do deal. really like their products, Bare Minerals are one of the few packs or holiday releases that are way better value yeah. than, uh, and this is what it should be. Yeah. I'm so sick of brands that are like, we've just bundled something and we're paying, you're paying a premium because it's got yeah. fun packaging. Here's a plonk, not a pack. Yeah. These, <laughs> these, um, these ones are sort of like, we want to get people enticed into trying the, yeah. the range. Um, and they do a really great That's job. That's how it should be. Yeah. Now, there is a palette that is not a Bounce and Blur palette. Yeah. So this is called the Mesa Gen Nude Eyeshadow Palette. This is available now for $58. US It's a 14-pan palette. And it's... Very, uh, very nude. It is very nude. It's... it's ex there's a lot of light shades in here. There's like six too many. Yes, light I would shades. agree. Yeah, th this is a bit off putting. Um, I think the problem with Bare Minerals, and they changed their tune when they got really popular doing their Gen Nude mm. colors. Yeah. Um, because then they've just run with the Gen Nude, which I understand, you know, it's safe for people to buy. Yeah. But then they pulled back on any color. Mm. And it's now really boring and they bring yeah. out these things that make me want to fall asleep. Yeah, I don't um, I, I don't know what like I like the sort of the right half of the palette. Yeah. But the left half I'm like why it's a waste of space. And they didn't swatch them all. And yeah, you well, know that that's because they, they look too that similar. light one is beyond that you don't need anything. Yeah. And then they've shown the six colours in the palette. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not too sure what they're doing. That. Yeah, I'll be swatching that in store though. Uh yeah. 100%. Make sure you like it before you buy it. All right. Bite Beauty have launched their holiday sets as well. So we've got two sets here. The Creamy Color Four Piece Mini Amuse Boosh Supercharged Lipstick Set, 21 US dollars. So it's got four mini lipsticks in it. There's Good Jujube, uh, Ruby Bonbon, Cherry Truffle and Cocoa Bite. Then there's they've got the All Agave Three Piece Lip Care Set, 14 US dollars. So you've got a mini agave lip mask in uh, natural. We've got a mini agave plus nighttime lip therapy and a mini agave plus daytime lip balm. So if you want some mini packs, I like that they've just brought out two. It's very handy for us. From Black Moon Cosmetics, we have seen their... Uh, Halloween Aut autumn, autumn trio. Yeah. trio. This one's a funny one because I think they brought it's this out last year yeah. or the year before. So it's yeah. a, a re-release. Um, and I believe the story behind it is they had a hold up with their Halloween products. Yeah. And so as a placement, they brought back the trio. So yeah. 
That's what I believe happened. Um, but this is available now. So you can get it in a pack. So there's three liquid to matte lipsticks in the shade Cider, which is limited edition, which is a warm Dijon mustard yellow. There's Hazel, which is also limited edition, which is a cross between an army green and an olive green. And there's Harvest, which is a permanent shade. It's a, a muted soft burnt orange with pinkish red undertones. So Very you can buy it color. for 50 US dollars or if you don't want, you want just want to buy one shade, they're eighteen US dollars each. They're available now. So, um, yeah, if this looks familiar, it is familiar. It is. But yeah. if you missed out last year or you loved it last year, it's back. And I don't think like Black Moon Cosmetics they have to release something at this time. Of yeah, year it's because sort it's, of really their their it's, vibe. It's their vibe. Yeah. So it's I'm their not, time to shine. It is. Yeah. I'm not mad about it. From Clinique, uh, we have the Even Better Pop Lip Color Foundation. So bizarre name. Very very strange. So this is a range of 28 lipsticks. They're retailing <clears throat> $19.50 US or 40 US dollars. Y- 40 Australian dollars. Sorry, 40 Australian dollars. Yeah, which you can see the, the markup, I, the Australia tax, which yeah. is fucking annoying and we're I sick of. I glitched out there. Yeah, you're like, Jesus what? Christ. What's up? Yeah, these should be, if it's 1950, it should be maybe 30 bucks Australian. Yeah, so they're that's, chucking on the Australia tax. That's a lot. Um, but essentially, what they do is they will shade match your lipstick to your foundation and yeah. they give you a couple of options and they're meant to be your most flattering yeah. shade of lipstick. Then there's a shade match science wheel. Mm. Um, so you can discover your three perfect shades from three different sort of categories, naked, casual, and glam. So it's an interesting concept. Yeah. Um, I just think it's sort of... I it's think, like when they say to match your nude lipstick to your nipple shade. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier to go to Clinique and have them do this rather than be like... Than pulling out the nip and doing some (laughs) swatches on the boob. Yeah, no, I agree. But I think also um, this is probably a good starting point if you're not familiar with nudes. Mm. But I think um, what this doesn't probably cater to is personal preference. Yeah. So, you know, someone might say for your shade, which I don't even know what it would be, if you look at sort of like the light and medium, they recommend a lot of pink tone nudes. Yep. On me, pink tone nudes look pink. Yeah. So I like to go brownie, mauvey, yep. something a little bit different. I like grey toned yeah, nudes. Yeah, grey toned nudes. I like nudes yellow, are, yeah. weird. Sandy like, toned nudes. Yeah, baby poop with a little bit of green yeah. in it. Like, I, like I know those it as well. sounds gross, but yeah. I really like it. I yeah, think and if you take a dark, interesting. Dark, take a dark brown shade and then like mute it down completely yeah. to a nude, great colour. So yeah. I think... This, in theory, is great, and if you just you're not sure where to start, but if you actually have thoughts and preferences in your own head, you're going to be like, I don't want your three shades of nudie pink, no. thanks, hun. But it's a it's an interesting move. It is, yes. So it has come to everybody's attention that Drunk Elephant yep. has been purchased by Shiseido. Yep. Uh, for a reported. Eight hundred and forty-five million dollars. Yeah, life goals: start a skincare brand and yes. sell it to a bigger company for a shit ton of money. Yeah. So there you go. We've seen Elf's holiday <laughs> packs, and there's a lot of them. Yeah. Um, they range in price. The most expensive one is twenty dollars, and they go all the way down to five dollars. So they're definitely not expensive, and they cover all of the bases. There are palettes, makeup packs. There are brush packs, skincare packs, um, lip packs, all sorts of stuff. They even took their like weird new jelly clear packaging things skincare, that they brought yeah. out this year. And chucked it in a pack. They've got minis. nail packs. They have nail packs. Like, there's a lot of stuff. I was looking at these last night and I was like, I don't hate it. They yeah. also have a, a 60 pan, hang on. 100 pan palette. There you go. 100 pan palette. Yeah. Yep. 100 color <laughs> eyeshadow palette. $15. But it's, it's, it's bad. It's terrible. It's, it's horrible. absolutely terrible. I, I don't approve of that. We're moving on. We promptly. are. From a brand called Makeup Elysium, they've had a relaunch. And this brand essentially creates brushes. They're synthetic 
um, so vegan cruelty free brushes. They have a core range at the moment for face brushes and for eye brushes, and they also sell lashes. So there are five sets of lashes, I believe, and they're colored accent lashes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, these are cool. I have played with these. The um, the purple pair I played with, and they're not bad. They're pretty cool. They're very bold. They are very bold. I had to cut mine down because I've got small eyes. Um, but they've had a relaunch, and they are focusing on brushes and lashes. Their brushes are very nice as well. One brush in particular that I actually want to mention because I've been using it a lot lately, it's... Oh, I can never pronounce this, but it's the nipple brush. Okay, <laughs> It's the nipple brush. And I use it for concealing, and it's actually, like... It's amazing. I didn't think a brush with a little nipple on it would be as good as so it is. So good. Um, but they actually have a, um, it's not a promotion, but they're currently supporting the um, Hong Kong Breast Cancer Foundation. So $15 of every brush purchased uh, goes towards the Hong Kong Breast Cancer Foundation until they sell out of stock. Oh, wow. Not just during October for yeah. Breast Cancer Awareness And the month. great thing is that they've actually paired the nipple brush with a breast cancer awareness <laughs> exactly. thing, which is great. I love it. It's not lost on me. No, it's I not. I love it. it. All right, we've seen a Fasali holiday pack. It's a limited edition skin goals set. Mm-hmm. So it's their first discovery set. Um, so it's about you, time. Yeah, so it includes their heroes um, in their sort of uh, range. So you get the Skin Tune Blur, the Unicorn Essence, the Rose Gold Elixir, and the Volcanic Elixir. So all of these are minis. Yeah. Um, and you can try them all out before you have to buy a full size. And it's available now at Fasali and Sephora for $25. US I'm very curious about how much product is in them. Not much from the looks they of They must be... The tiny. tiny, tiniest. Otherwise, it's amazing value. From Florence by Mills, we have a new five pan eyeshadow palette called Love Live. Yeah, so it's a uh, limited edition and it's in memory of her friend who uh, passed away um, after a fight with pediatric cancer. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, very sad. So it's five wearable shadows in soft, creamy hues inspired by Liv. They're going to donate $75,000 of the proceeds to the Olivia Hope Foundation, um, which is nice. So yeah. this is now available for $24 on Florence by Mills and Ulta Beauty. From Fresh Beauty, we've seen their holiday sets as well. Um, again, there's a lot here. We're not going to go through them all individually. But essentially, you have skincare packs, lip packs, mask packs. There's a pack for everyone who wants a pack. Yes. All right? So the most expensive pack here seems to be the Black Tea Shop gift set. Mm. 119 US dollars. So it's an anti-aging set. It includes a black tea age defy eye cream, 15 mils, black tea corset cream, firming moisturizer, 30 mils, black tea uh, kombucha facial treatment essence, 50 mils, black tea firming overnight mask, 7 mils. So that's a good indication of like a pack, um, yeah. but they range from like $24 through to 119 So there's a lot. There's there. heaps of them. And if you really like their sugar lip balms, they've got yeah. like a massive pack where you get like, what is that, six of them? Yeah, you can really um, stock up. Yeah, so stock up or split it with friends. All right, we've got a new product from Glossier. It's the Future Dew, mm. which is an oil serum hybrid. So what does this do? I don't know. Let's learn about it together. So they're pretty much saying that this gives the look of that really nice dewy fi- that dewy finish after you've just applied your skincare um, that eventually it soaks into your skin and disappears so this is supposed to give you that look and last up to 12 hours so it is an oil serum hybrid packed with nourishing oils that don't feel greasy Mm. while brightening plant-based extracts deliver an instant and lasting glow so it's supposed to be the final step in your skincare routine Um, i guess you could also use it sort of as a primer step if you wanted to but um yeah it's supposed to give you a hydrated glowing look um without i don't know having to I'm reapply skeptic. skincare all the time i'm skeptical i don't know how that would work because i like to be fair 
serums and oils you can apply them directly on your skin 100 if you've got you can take a drop of rosehip oil and put that over your moisturizer at the end if you want that extra dewy look but the thing that i find strange about it is that the people that generally generally want the really glowy look are the people that have drier skin yeah they're the ones that skincare absorb quite fast on yeah so i don't know what is in this that's going to sit on the top layer of the skin yeah rather than penetrating but that might be maybe they've used oils that are like Maybe like large well, molecular weight. It says jojoba, grapeseed, evening primrose, and rosehip. These are all things. That sort yeah, of, um, suspended sinking. in a water in oil emulsion, emulsion, creating a cushiony, silky formula that hydrates thirsty skin while it nourishes. I don't. I look. I just. <laughs> yeah. No. I, I get this. This. I, this skepticism. Yeah. Spex- Skepticism. <laughs> Skepticism. That's the one. <laughs> we got up really early, guys. We I'm did. like oh, I'm five looking thirty. At the, I'm looking at the lights, and I'm like, they're actually stinging my eyes yeah, a little you know, bit. Do you yeah. know when, like, um, you like turn on the light, and your cats are like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like that. That's what I feel like constantly. Yeah. I'm like, are my eyes open. Can you see on camera? Are my eyes actually open. I don't know. So, forgive us if we yeah. bumble and bumble. Um, I think my issue with it is that. Uh, when I read this, like I understand where they're coming from, but I'm also like, yeah, but there's already things on the market that do this. True, but, <laughs> like, but where, the the thing that I'm skeptical about is that yes, I understand what they're trying to do. Yeah, but with the ingredients and the description of their product, it's just more skincare. Yeah. So if skincare sinks in. And it's going to sink that, in. It's going to sink in. That's what I'm saying. What is what the I'm differing saying. thing between like, this and a normal oil? Yeah. If you already use rosehip oil and you're and like, serum. damn, that rosehip oil never stays on my skin. It always sinks right in and yeah, I need more I, and I can't get that dewy look. Like, how is this any different? Yeah, that's what I want, I want to know yeah. the distinction of what is going to be it. Because often what gives you that dewy look that lasts throughout the day is if you apply makeup that's dewy yeah. because it is generally of a high, like a bigger molecular weight. Yeah, so it all sit sits. On yeah. the skin, it doesn't absorb. Yeah. And that's how you – or if you want to use like a – um, like there's a lot of brands that bring out those sort of glowy skin mists that actually have suspended oil in them yeah. and create that glowy yeah. look. I understand that because you have those barriers before, it, like between your skin and it. Yeah. So it looks glowy but isn't sinking in. Like I don't know where this I don't know who extra what, yeah. last layer of your skincare is going to make that much I'm different. not sure. That's what I look like on a daily basis. Yeah, I'm that oily. Fair. Damn it. Anyway, some people might like this. Um, from Hey. Hank and Henry Beauty, we have their first ever eyeshadow palette alongside two beauty sponges. So the palette is called Living in Color Palette. It's 27 US dollars and it contains nine eyeshadows. I like the color story, but... It looks like trash. Why does the packaging have to be so bulky? It, this looks like... Can I, can I just say... This is going to make me sound like a real asshole, but... <laughs> People on the internet know. People I am. think we are anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, if you're still here, you're either hate watching or you get us. You get us. And we, we love That's you for right. it. This looks like if someone said, okay, you're in high school, you're in graphic design class. Oh, my class, God. It's 1995. It's literally 1995. Yeah, you need to make your mock-up yeah. for a, like a product design as a school project. And they actually like printed this out and cut it and yeah. put it together and made it look chunky. This is inspired by the 90s. So yeah. I get some of it, but I think this is the worst part of the 90s. I just. This is like Avril Lavigne, early 2000s, <laughs> just chucked into a fucking palette. I agree with you though. The colors look quite nice. Yeah, I like um, them. Look, but I just can't see the colors. But like, that's, so I'm being distracted exactly, by this packaging. Exactly. We and thought Violet Voss were bad. Yeah, we did think Violet Voss was bad. Move over. Move over. Move over. This is a new uh, one. I think, like, what frustrates me is having square pants turned on a side to make a diamond and then and really chunky packaging with chunky stuff packaging thrown everywhere it's just i'm just like oh god i don't i don't even have enough space in my brain for this make everything so much smaller so it's easier to consume yeah but can i also say from someone that lived there like i remember Best the 90s and, in the and 90s 2000s yeah. 
This is not the makeup that was out in the 90s and 2000s. No. So inspired by, but it's actually not inspired by the makeup in the early no, 2000s. No, and I 90s would agree. Because this is, you would not find this anywhere. No. I think the packaging is inspired yeah. by the 90s for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 100%. It looks like you'd find this on like some skater t-shirt. Like yeah, you know, all the yeah, guys had like those stupid fucking exactly. things across their t-shirt yeah. and the Absolutely. I agree. It was I agree. Horrible. What I see a the inspiration. Time. Horrible time to be alive. <laughs> There's also two makeup sponges, a large one for 14 US dollars, a small one for 9, and then you can buy a bundle of everything for 40 dollars. That's a saving. Yes, it actually is a saving. All right, you get a tick for that. Oh, wow. So it's on pre-sale. Now? Now. Actually, no. Full launch is going to be, like, really, really soon, 18th of October. Yes. All right, Huda Beauty. Um, yep. Look, the one thing that a lot of people <laughs> find annoying, many things about Huda Beauty, but Fair. one thing that, that, that she said, I think in her past three releases, mm. and this just – reminded me yeah is that they like to say that they're very revolutionary about they're something not. like the first <laughs> blackest liner that yeah. what was the, the 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 claim of their black oh, liner the blackest long wearing like, it was oh, like that's 48 right. hour wear or something yeah something ridiculous and then they said that their um the nude eyeshadow palettes were the first ones mm-hmm. to have like light medium deep and i don't agree with them, but I don't disagree with them at the same time yeah. because there are other palettes that had light, medium, deep, but they weren't that format of eyeshadow yeah. and they often had like face products along with them. So, yes, yeah, but they like to toot their own horn. They um, do. This is another one. So, essentially, what this new product that they're releasing is a revolutionary clear drying tacky lash glue. Now, I haven't heard of something like this, so I think. Probably is a little bit revolutionary, but it's also uh, most people will be like, "What's the point?" Yeah. Um, but essentially, what this does, it's latex-free, um, and it's also supposed to allow you to restick your lashes for up to four hours. So, what what she showed was that she, in a video, she took off the lashes yeah. completely, then reapplied them without having to, um, you know put glue back on yeah which most people aren't going to just take off their lashes and put them back on but if you are one of those people that you find it lifting yeah you've got the ability to stick it back down um in the first four hours of wear right which is actually a cool idea yeah but beyond that when you're actually going out for a long night if it's a lifting then the glue is probably not that good well, it shouldn't lift if yeah. it's really tacky. I think that's another point. Like if you have a glue that dries and then the, the lash lifts, yeah. um, you can't really you put can't it back stick down. It back on. Whereas with this one, um, and it did look like it stuck pretty well. So yeah. I think the point of it is um, it will hopefully hold really well. But if you need to maneuver or re- like move your lashes, like sometimes you apply them sort of the wrong area yeah. and then you... A bit wonky. A bit wonky. You know, you can actually do this. So... so I don't know if this is going to change the world, but I think it is interesting. So she's saying if you peel it off, it won't leave glue on your eyelid. Well, no, but it does leave glue on your eyelid. Well, that's a bit shit. And but, will it lift your makeup? Well, when she demonstrated it, you could see the glue that was left on her eyelid. So I don't, I don't, I think besides adjusting, yeah, there is no reason to want to take it off and yeah. put it back on. Yeah, no. So it's, I think it's just for adjusting purposes. Which I think if you are not very confident with lashes or um, like me, I hate a full strip of lashes because I always dig in in the here. It makes my eyes water. Yeah. Um, if you just go, that's really annoying. I just want to move them a bit. You actually can do that within four hours of wearing. Yeah. Which is a cool concept. Yeah. So I don't I know how well it works, but it's an interesting concept. Interesting. Yeah. So oh. 18 US dollars releasing on the 15th of October. All right. So it's out now if you want it. Illamasqua have launched their holiday collection. This is called Electro Tartan. So the products in the collection are the Electrify Artistry Palette, 38 pounds. I'm having really bad deja vu. Have they released this before? They did have a bright palette for a holiday ah, release. Ah, okay. But it wasn't. This. The same, yeah. All right. Same vibes, but not not the same. Yeah. Okay. Then we have the Beyond Powder in in Oh My God Burst. Yeah, this is a highlighting powder. Yeah. And it's marbled. It's pretty. It looks like hourglass. Yeah. 
We have antimatter lipsticks in Techno, Glow Stick, Amplifier, Turntable, and Legend. They're 20 pounds each. So there's a purple, a pink, a true orange, a wine red, and like an orangey, orangey red. red. Yeah. yeah. And then there are packs. So you can get the Techno, Glow Stick, Amplifier, Turntable, or Legend lipsticks in duo packs. Uh, so they have a matching lip pencil. And then there is a lip, eye, and cheek set, which contains the, oh my God, the... Highlighter. The highlighter in, oh my God, Burst, uh, the antimatter lipstick in Glow Stick, and a full-size dual precision ink eyeliner in Topaz, and the Prep and Glow Vault. This contains a Hydra Veil primer and Beyond Powder in, oh my God, Burst. It's all available now on Illamasqua. Yeah, and I don't know if we said uh, the lip duos are 25 pounds. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, GG Gorgeous has announced a collaboration with Ipsy. So we don't have much details about this just yet, but it is launching on the 1st of November through Ipsy. And it looks like there's a bunch of different things here. There's brushes, there's makeup bags, lip gloss, um, looks like a blush duo, liquid highlighters, bronzer, um, eyeshadows, maybe a lip balm. So we do... There's a bunch of stuff, but we yeah. haven't seen exactly what it is. Jouer Holiday Collection. So this is out now when you're watching this at Jouer Cosmetics and Sephora. Consists of the Rose Cut Gems Blush and Cheek Topper Palette. This is $39. It contains seven blush, maybe a bronzer and a like sparkly topper highlight yep. product. There's also the Essential Lip Care Duo. This is $25. US It contains the Essential Lip Enhancer and the Essential Lip Enhancer Shine Balm in the shade Rose. And they're staggering their releases as well. Yep. Good, good on you. 1st of November, uh, you'll be able to pick up the Exquisite Jewels Best of Lips collection. It's $28. US And it contains lip creams in Charm, Fortune, Peony, a gloss in Aura, a lip topper in Ethereal and Stardust. Yes, that's a six lip product set. All right, from Juno & Co, we've seen two quads. Uh, so it might be their first ever sort of face palettes as far yeah, as I'm aware. Maybe. They're coming soon. Don't have too many details, but there's two variations. Cherry Bomb is a lighter one. So for lighter skin tones, um, it's got a image of a lady eating a cherry on it. Looks like it contains two highlighters, a contour powder and a shimmery blush. These can also be used on the eyes. And then there's a deeper one, which is called Bombshell. So Cherry Bomb looks like it says Cherry Bomb Forget Me. What does it say? Something like I have that. No idea. And then the bombshell says bombshell perfectionist. Uh, but the bombshell one is for deeper skin tones. It looks like it's got a highlighter, maybe a marbled highlighter slash blush, mm. uh, a contour shade, and also a shimmery blush. So they're coming soon. All right, we've also seen some ultra exclusive kits from KKW Beauty. So what we've seen so far is the cream lipstick and highlighter set is $29. US dollars. It'll be available exclusively at Ulta Beauty stores and online from the 20th of October. Now, I have heard that in this pack, these are new shades mm -hmm. of lipstick and highlighter, but I don't have the details of what the shades are. Then we also have um, another set, which KKW Beauty incorrectly called the cream lipstick and highlighter set for $29 US dollars. It's not. It's a lip trio. So mm. I don't know if it's $29 as well or if they've just fucked that one up. Um, but this contains two lipsticks and a lip gloss. It contains Nude 3 and 90 Style, which are the lipsticks, and the Ultra Light Beams Lip Gloss in Rose Gold. So both launching 20th of October. From Kylie Cosmetics, we have new shimmer eye glazes. So the shades are More Pie Please, Coffee Bean, Burnt Sienna and Brown Sugar. These are going to be launching really soon. So yeah. 18th, um, which will probably be within like the next 24 hours. Yeah, for so you 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 18th. Um, and these are for fall. So I don't know if this is just going to be the start of a fall collection or if she's just releasing a these few. shades. I don't know. Don't know. LA Girl Cosmetics have launched new Glitterholic Glitter Toppers. 
So these are multi-dimensional glitter toppers. Um, they're just like pots of pressed mm. glitter, I think. I think. Um, so, so you can use them alone or over eyeshadow. And they say that it can create from a subtle shine to full glam. Um, available in eight shimmering colors. There's hologram, ooh la la, twinkle twinkle, frenzy, gold digger, oh so extra, party girl and electrify. So available now, six dollars each. All right, we've got a lot from Makeup Revolution, Revolution, blah, blah, blah. So let's just run through it really quickly. The first one is a new collaboration. So it's with a beauty Instagrammer, Rady. Mm. Um, it might be mispronouncing that. I apologize if that's the case. But there is um, a Daydream Shadow Palette, 10 pounds, 10.99 euros or US $15. So this is a vibrant mix of bold mattes, shimmers and metallics. So it's like a rainbow palette. There's also the Dusk Shadow Palette, same prices. This is a cool toned fantasy, they claim. So it's a selection of pigmented mattes. Oh, I just touched my microphone, sorry. Oops. Pigmented mattes, uh, smooth shimmers and foil-like metallic. So this is more of a muted, sultry tone. Um, and then there's, they've also got the Moonlight slash Sunlight Highlighter Palette, 12 pounds, 12.99 euros or US $18. So this is a highlighter palette with eight shades. Yep. So a quad on one side, a quad on the other side. And I think that's where you get the Moonlight Sunlight sort of division. So it's all available now at Revolution Beauty and Boots UK. It's coming to Target online from the 4th of November and in stores at the end of December. More from Makeup Revolution. We have the Precious Stones collection. I believe this is their holiday it looks collection. Holiday. So there are four eyeshadow palettes. These are 10 pounds, 11.99 euros, 15 US dollars. Uh, comes in diamond, emerald, amethyst, quartz, and ruby. Did I say four palettes? There's five. There's five. Then we have uh, highlighter palettes. These come in rose quartz and ruby crush. They're eight pounds, 8.99 euros, 12 US dollars. Fixing spray, six pounds, 6.99 euros, nine US dollars. Comes in ice diamond, rose fizz, and cherry truffle. There are lip toppers in three shades. They're four pounds, 9.99 euro, six US dollars. Loose highlighter in three shades, six pounds, 6.99 euros, eight US dollars. Highlighter, uh, these are the pressed ones in four shades. They're six pounds, 6.99 and nine US dollars. There is a brush set in two uh, color options. 20 pounds, 20.99 euros and 25 US dollars. There's a diamond blender and case. Have you so seen this? I have, yeah. It's, it's a pretty fancy. It is. It's a diamond shaped, shaped sponge, sponge in a diamond shaped yeah. holder. Has yeah. anyone done that before? No, I don't See? think so. Like diamond shaped sponge yes but, but the, not holder the holder looks really yeah. cool that's the cool part about and it I, it's like you see you can do cool shit makeup yeah. revolution do it all the time uh that's eight pounds 8.99 euros 10 us dollars and then there are the liquid glitter eyeliners these are actually coming soon so the rest is available now on revolution beauty uh this will be available in four shades four pounds 4.99 euros six us dollars it's a lot at least this collection like is pretty festive. It's got the yeah. sparkly packaging. Yeah. Um, and the jewel tones do work fairly well yeah. with like the holiday theme. So uh, I don't, I don't, I mind don't it. hate it. I don't it. need anything from it. Look, but I don't hate it. You're going to hate, hate it in a minute because we've got more. <laughs> this is from Revolution Pro. Um, these are palettes. So we have the Color Focus palette in Rock and Royal and also Truth or dare. Now these are 12 pounds each, 12.99 euros or 20 US dollars. They contain 10 shades each. And they're and baked. They are baked, yes. Then we have more palettes. Uh, we've got Regeneration Legendary Palette and Regeneration Bronze Age Palette. So these are 8 pounds, 8.99 euros, 15 US dollars. And there's like a warm and an um, earthy one. Yeah. I like the earthy one. I it's think it's kind of cool. cool. Yeah. We've seen it from Mark Jacobs. They've mm. added something new to their range. Yep. And we actually saw it today. And, I and bought you bought it. one. Ha. Yeah. So I these did. are new eyeliners. Yeah. All right. So these are new liquid gel formulas of Marc Jacobs highliners. 
So they're saying they're waterproof liquid gel eyeliners with extreme long wear shiny color. And uh, they're basically available in the signature shade. So blacker along with some um, colors. They have a metallic finish. Um, we've got gold getter, which is yellow gold, blitz coin, bronzed copper, Glamoroon, metallic cranberry. That's the one I wanted and I didn't have didn't it. didn't have it. So I got the black one instead, which makes sense. Uh, there is Steal the Show, which is a metallic dark grey. Silver Lining is an icy silver. And Star Magic is a rose gold. They're available now. Uh, one thing I do like about these... Um compared to other like pen liners is mm. they've actually got the like the well yeah um in the base and uh the brush in the lid so you generally get a lot more longevity out of them because mm. you're not waiting for the product to flow through the pen and that process dries out the pen a lot so yeah um yeah they're actually nice to swatch we weren't all in store sadly but very nice a fight just sephora all right, Milani Cosmetics have launched a new range of lip glosses. So this is a ludicrous lip gloss. So it's a next level shine and a pop of color. Sure to channel your inner supermodel bombshell. I think not, hun. Um, so it's ultra moisturizing for super comfortable wear that lasts. Uh, plus it's got 3D shine that gives instant volume to your pout. No liner or filler needed. Um, Whatevs, mate. But uh, 12 shades now available for $8.99 US dollars each on Mil- Milani Cosmetics um, website. And you can see there's a bunch of nudes, pinks, uh, some deeper shades, a mauve color, a purple. So there you go. If you like, I don't know how it has 3D shine. But isn't like all, you're applying something onto a 3D surface. So of course it would look 3D. I don't know. I don't know. The marketing people just make me want to cry. I know. For years we've been calling out this bullshit and they still do it. They still do. They don't listen to us. It's fine. No, they don't. They don't. It's all right. We don't listen to them either. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Oh, we read it and in our heads it's just like, you're a dickhead, Harry. You're a dickhead, Harry. You're a dickhead, Harry. <laughs> Pretty That's much. True. I love how that's become a saying. Like that, but that's become an everyday yeah. saying for me. So yeah. instead of you're a wizard, ha- Harry, yeah. it's yeah. You're, you're a, a dickhead, dickhead Harry. Harry. <laughs> I always say all the time. We say it about everything from yeah. like the most annoying thing like you – dropped something on the yeah. ground you're a dickhead you're harry. a dickhead harry to yeah. something that's really like bad we're like yeah. you're a dickhead harry yeah i say it yeah. probably every day all right morphe again um we have highlight and contour sticks so these are dimension effect highlight sticks in five shades and dimension effect contour sticks in 10 shades there's also a priming beauty oil so the sticks are 14 us dollars each and the priming beauty oil is 18 us dollars it's available now on morphe brushes all right nabla cosmetics have unveiled their skin glazing line Mm -hmm. Um, so it's made of the most glorious products Whatever. So the collection includes skin glazing, which I believe are highlighting products. Yeah. Um, there's a shade ozone, um, amnesia. I don't. You don't want amnesia. No, nah, I don't. Um, want. Lucent jungle, privilege, truth, and adults only. Mm-hmm. These are actually quite beautiful. They They're are. They're very, very metallic highlighter privilege products. Is stunning. Privilege. It's got that peachy yeah. shift to it. It's very, very pri- privileged. <laughs> 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 it's very very pretty i would just hate to have a highlighter called privilege yeah i know like what's that, that on your face i'm privileged <laughs> there's also three brushes and a holographic or hollow makeup bag so it's all launching 16th of october 1 p.m it's out now you Excellent. can get it at nabla cosmetics but i do think um i don't hate it they're very pretty highlighters i uh, also like that adults only they've got a really Deep red one for I people know. with really deep sort of red tone. I wish skin. I could wear that color as a highlighter. You can wear it as an eyeshadow. All right, the last thing we're just going to touch on this because we don't actually have a lot of information, no, do we? We don't. So we have seen something that is coming soon from Victoria Beckham Beauty. They're calling it your perfect nude. Yeah. So uh, we've at least seen two items, and it will be coming in different shades. Mm. So Victor- Victoria. <laughs> Fuck, I need to... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Victoria Beckham went on Lisa Eldridge's channel and um, they did each other's makeup. Yeah. And 
she showed some new products that are coming out. Uh, the first thing that she showed was um, a new Bitten Lip Tint. So the shade that we've seen here is Bisu, mm -hmm. um, but it, I think there's going to be more shades available. Um, and it's pretty much a liquid lip tint, a nude. It wouldn't be like a lip stain because nudes don't really stain, but it gives a very natural sort of color to the lips. She also said you can use it on your cheeks. Um, and then she said that she, one thing she is totally mad about is lip liners because she likes to contour her lips. She does it all the time. So um, we've seen a lip definer in the shade 02. So that is probably what's coming. I feel like there's going to be a few more shades. Mm, I like this brand. I already like it. I don't even, I know, I've tried nothing. I've ordered something. That's true. <laughs> Everything. But I, <laughs> I like this brand and we need to go. We need to go. Because we've got problems. We need to have a nap. But I, I, do. Do, I do think that one thing that I noticed, she was talking quite openly because I think one good thing about that video with Lisa Eldridge was that it wasn't edited down. Yeah, so it was you could, chill. You could see the conversation and she was talking a lot about her sort of makeup style and um, how pretty much the only thing, if she has to wear makeup, the only thing, or the only thing she'll leave the house wearing if she does no makeup is brows. And I'm like, I hear you, I've got mm -hmm. no brows. Um, but she wants something to be really like, effortless and easy yeah. and I really like that idea of having good quality but easy, easy. to wear makeup yeah. I think even though it's not really my style I don't mind like things that require a little bit of effort mm. um I know that it's a very sort of marketable thing like Glossier does that as well yeah so I feel like this is a smart move for her and it does it seems to work with the way she wears makeup so it's quite genuine which I thought was yeah. really nice to see anyway we're going we're going I'm going good night all right, the time has come to dig <laughs> Just say like, the time has come to dig it. <laughs> sure. I was going to say dedicate, but it just came out too quickly. <laughs> the time has come to dig it. <laughs> the time has come to dedicate. I can't say it. The time has come to dedicate this episode of Beauty News to a Beauty News VIP, and this week's VIP is Sean. And I'm sorry that I'm laughing, but. <laughs> I've messed this up several times. I'm really struggling. I think I've lost the plot. I think we're tired. I th but yeah. thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for supporting Beauty News and thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News in whichever way you choose to do it. What is our emoji for the week? Spiza. Oh, the creepy Spiza. We're doing to get us prepared for Halloween. Halloween. Yes. Yep. Thank Which you I'm, so much, for. Anastasia Beverly Hills. For that. For that emoji. Love it. Appreciate All right, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We're going to go have a nap. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Put my spider on. You're a dickhead, Harry. <laughs> You're a dickhead, Harry.